JB here from Rust and we're here with vlog number two for the Suzuki V-Strom 650XT. Uh, we are now 800 miles into ownership as it were and uh, I have to say all of those have been on the road uh, but it was always the idea was to have an evaluation of its road riding first. Excellent bike, what an amazing bike. Um, this fuel tank I love because it's 20 litres which gives it an easy 250 miles, 400 kilometres to a tank range. It's doing about 60, sometimes 65 to the gallon. I like that. Um, I like the fact it goes <coughs> 80 mile an hour down the motorways all day long, no problem. That is really nice. In town, it's awesome. You've got a very tall riding position, so you ride above the traffic, and uh, it makes plotting your route really easy. And you've got comfortable suspension for that kind of work. As a road bike, it's like 10 out of 10 for this model. Uh, I really, really like it. So I'm very pleased about that. Next, let's move on. We weren't going to go adventuring, aren't we? We're going to go to Rally de Morocco in October. So uh, I've got to get a move on, do some modifications. First modification is going to be change of tyres. And we've got some Metzler Carew streets coming. Uh, and they look really interesting. They like the Carew 3, but with a not so tall knob so that they don't generate so much heat. So they don't wear so fast. And the idea is I can get a set of Carew streets from here in England to Morocco, do the Rally de Morocco and get back without a change of tyres. So that's that's the uh, the goal with those. And so uh, we'll get those on very soon and do some first off-roading. Then obviously some modifications to the bike. As you can see, there's some handlebars there. Um, I want to change them up a little bit, probably straighter bars. These ones have got a little cant backwards. And while that's good for street work, it's too angled for off-road. So I'm going to try for some straighter bars. And if I can get a slightly taller bend, I'll go for that, but I've got to be careful because of cable length as usual, uh, you don't want to stretch those cables. So do that, uh, some change of footrest to off-road type, and probably a bash plate just for safety. Uh, there's a few things like an exhaust and uh, oil filter that you don't want to knock off for sure. So uh, we'll get that sorted. After that, pretty much, um, not job done, but that'll be a nice next stage. So uh, I'll check in when I've got those done and uh, we'll see how it's going but uh, yeah so far fantastic <laughs> love this bike